Halt! You there! Please wait! You're Geralt of Rivia, are you not? <sighs> Depends who's asking. Revenue and customs for occupied Tamaria, Dorian branch. Represented by yours truly, Deputy Tax Enumerator, Walter Mormite. Honored, I guess. What seems to be the problem? In brief, undeclared income. Excuse me? We've had reports, numerous, that over the last months you've come into a great deal of coin. Quickly. So quickly it's raised suspicions. I get how that might have happened. Be glad to clear them up. Profession? Witcher. Monster Slayer. Hmm. Sole proprietorship. Service sector. Type of services rendered. Rat pest monster removal. Moving on. Have you at any time engaged in the wholesale trade of rawhide in the White Orchid area? Is some kind of joke? Of course not. Right. Next. During the current fiscal year, have you engaged in the acquisition of bivalves with the express intention of selling the pearls therein? Even if I have, what's wrong with that? Article 86, Section 3 of the Tax Code. Whosoever purchases goods at an unseemly low price to take advantage of the seller's ignorance shall be subject to a fine equaling 200% of the earnings from any such a transaction. Sound familiar? And now, please answer. Have you or have you not dealt in said pearls? No, never done anything of the sort. Witcher's honor. Now, for the final question. Have you ever unlawfully acquired another man's movable goods? Chattels? Hmm. Meaning? Ah, oh, a meaning. Have you ever waltzed into someone's home and taken something without their permission? Gotta be kidding. The Witcher's Code forbids it. I'm pleased to hear you abide by your guild's bylaws. Now, if you could wait for one moment, compare column B to table 7. Apply the rate for confirmed childless bachelors, a tax credit of 7.3% for practitioners of hazardous professions. It adds up to the crown. I say, good sir, you are exceptionally upstanding. It'd be rude to disagree. In these times, such civic virtue is a rarity. It must be commended, rewarded. Here. Well, what's this? A diploma. I bestow on you the title of taxpayer in good standing. I'd suggest you frame it, hang it in a place of honour. Congratulations. Don't you have anything better to do? Not at the moment. Make no mistake. You cannot evade this. You must answer my questions promptly and in full. Profession? Witcher. Monster Slayer. Hmm. Sole proprietorship. Service sector. Type of services rendered. Rat pest monster removal. Moving on. Have you at any time engaged in the wholesale trade of rawhide in the White Orchid area? Might have. Once or twice. Definitely no more than three times. And did you then file a WIPT 30-C form with the Revenue and Customs Office for your place of residence? No? As I thought. Hmm. Right. Next. During the current fiscal year, have you engaged in the acquisition of bivalves with the express intention of selling the pearls therein? Even if I have, what's wrong with that? Article 86, Section 3 of the Tax Code. Whosoever purchases goods at an unseemly low price to take advantage of the seller's ignorance shall be subject to a fine equaling 200% of the earnings from any such a transaction. Sound familiar? And now, please answer. Have you or have you not dealt in said pearls? Yeah, unfortunately, on occasion, but I didn't know it was illegal. Ignorantia legis non excusat, 
as the ancient friends would say. Ignorance of the law excuses no one. Now, for the final question. Have you ever unlawfully acquired another man's movable goods? Chattels? Hmm. Meaning? Ah, oh, a meaning. Have you ever waltzed into someone's home and taken something without their permission? A couple times, but the owner has never protested. In the eyes of the law, that is no excuse, my good man. Now, if you could wait for one moment. Compare column B to table 7. Apply the rate for confirmed childless bachelors, a tax credit of 7.3% for practitioners of hazardous professions, and done. Here. What's this? A summons to pay back taxes. Please report to the Vivaldi Bank with this document post haste. But... but I've never paid any taxes. Not one copper. Precisely. Yet you've had the obligation always. Thus the arrears. I advise you well. Do not treat this matter lightly. <sighs> Paper pushers. Taking a peek at my wares, yeah. Vimy, could you do me a favor? Oh, I fear not. You can't? You see, I've been told you owe back taxes. That means I cannot provide you any services till you take care of that wee fuck up. <sighs> Fine, I'll just pay it. Sheesh, the portals were bad. I think I detest taxes even more. Life, you gotta take risks and not get fucked. 